Now in this video we are going to discuss about the interest rate parity. The logic and with an example and the process of interest rate parity. Now let's first discuss with an example in India the interest rate is 10% that is to invest money it is 10% in US the borrowing rate is 5%. So what I am thinking to do is I will borrow from US and will invest in India and will make a gain of 5% that is you can say it is a shortcut method that seems to me or it is in making a way of arbitrage gain but it's not that easy because foreign exchange conversion will come into play and the interest rate parity. So how it works? Now I am investing in India. For investing in India I will require to convert the dollar into rupee. So this is the first time that I am entering the foreign exchange market. Now after one year I will have to repay the loan and again will convert rupee into dollar and this is the second time I am entering the foreign exchange market. So what is interest rate parity? Interest rate parity is the theory in which the interest rate differential between two countries is equivalent. Now interest rate differential in our case it was 10% and 5% is equal to the difference between their forward exchange rate and forward rate, spot rate. So the difference between this now equation that is in the term forward rate by spot rate is equal to interest rate factor. Now here A that is the price currency that is rupee in our example whereas P is the base currency that is dollar. Now let's begin with this process starting with dollar 500 starting with dollar 100 I will first borrow it at the rate of 5% and will invest in rupees at the rate of 10%. The spot rate is known today that is 40 and the forward rate is 42. That the dollar is the borrowing rate of dollar is 5% but its forward rate is 42. That means that dollar is at premium. Now the first step decide which currency we are going to borrow. Borrowing at low and investing is high. That is borrowing dollar at 5% and investing in rupees at the rate of 10%. Step 2. We will have to calculate or compute the dollar outflow on maturity. That is $100 plus interest at the rate of 5% is equal to dollar one zero five. In the third step we are required to calculate that how much we are going to invest today in rupees. So today we have dollar hundred and the today that is the spot rate is 40. So the amount that we are going to invest today is rupees 4000. Now the fourth step is we need to calculate that after investing 4000 how much I am going to receive. So again the amount invested plus interest is equal to 4400. The fifth step and the final one is how can we make arbitrage gain. Now dollar receivable after one year is 104.7604 we have invested dollar 100 so in this way we have made a gain of dollar 4.76 so whenever the dollar inflow is greater than dollar outflow then there is arbitrage gain now apart from this I would also like to discuss one thing that what happens when the dollar was at 5% and rupee that is Indian currency was at 10%. So the interest rate of dollar was low but when you see the exchange rate that was higher as compared to rupee. So what actually happens is that the interest rate of the country which is lower is definitely at a premium 
and the higher is the interest rate then that will be at a discount so due to this interest rate parity this arbitrage gain or the arbitrage opportunity in the market eliminates Now some assumptions of IRP are there are no taxes, no transaction cost and investors can readily exchange.